healing through heartbreak. That's a tough one, y'all. <laughs> so um, I just want to come on here and share some of the things that I have done and do to heal through heartbreak. So the first thing that, oh, oh wait, <laughs> my bad. Oh, I'm so rude. First of all, thank you for tuning in to my channel and thank you all to everyone who subscribed as well. I genuinely appreciate you. All right, moving on. Um, so the first thing that I do is I'm decisive. Once I see that the person is just not going to meet me where I'm meeting them, um, I set boundaries and I'm decisive and I ain't going to lie to you. I'm, I'm queen of block. I will block a bitch. Okay. And not out of pettiness, but out of peace, right? There's a difference, right? So um, that's the first thing that I do. I set boundaries. And especially when it comes to like, if you're dealing with a narcissist or anything, I don't know if anybody, any of you all have ever like dated narcissist. Girl, let me tell you. So there's this cycle that Dr. Romney talks about. And she says that, first of all, it starts with love bombing. It's a love bombing phase. And then it moves from love bombing to devaluing you. And then from devaluing to discard and, and then to hoovering and from hoovering back to love bombing, right? So um, a lot of times you'll hear people talk about, oh, I've been in this five-year relationship and through the ups and downs, even though he's dogged me out and, you know, he ain't shit to me, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, we, we still together, right? No, bitch, you're in a narcissistic cycle. Know the difference. There's a difference, right? So um, just be be aware of that, you know, and set strong boundaries and know, hey, you know what? I'm done with this. Sh I'm done. I'm done. Right. Um, and if any of you all have any um, any ideas of like or things that you've done to get over heartbreak or to heal from heartbreak, post them in the comment section below. I'd appreciate that. Thanks. Um, and so the next thing that I like to do is I avoid photos and text messages why are we going back through that we don't need to revisit none of the old because what it does is it puts you in a position to where you are only remembering the positive you're only remembering the good times and oh my god i remember when no bitch no so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move forward okay the person you're only remembering the the fairy tale times you know or the good times or whatever but don't ever forget what really caused the breakup okay don't ever forget that okay um so a lot of things that I, a lot of things that i'll do is i'll try to occupy my time occupy my mind i'm sorry not my time i'll try to occupy my mind and i'll do that by like watching a movie or something that truly catches my attention and, and pay close attention that i didn't say occupy like like do do something like physically that's different than because I, a lot of times, I'm sorry, I might be going too fast. A lot of times what you'll see is like somebody may be mowing the grass or cooking dinner or cleaning up or whatever, but your mind, your mental space is still, you're still thinking about the person, right? That's not the same. So occupy your actual mind, your actual mental space. And the most beautiful thing um, about a heartbreak is guess what, y'all? Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. And it will give you a whole mental shift, right? It opens the doors to new opportunities, y'all. And I mean, guess what? Clearly that wasn't the person for you. So guess what happens now? You get to meet a new person. How exciting is that? But the thing is, make sure you heal though before you meet them. Because, because if you don't, you'll end up picking somebody that was just like your past partner. And you're gonna be in the same cycle. And the reason you're in the same cycle is because you haven't learned the lessons, baby. I'm sorry, my neighbor's pulling up. Anyway, um, you haven't learned the lessons, you know? So let's learn the lessons, people. Let's heal and let's move forward. Anyway, it opens the doors to new opportunities and you get a chance to experience new and bright things for the future. So it's just so awesome, you know? So to me anyway, but <laughs> um, thank you guys for tuning in. I genuinely appreciate each and every one of you and have a good day.